This is the Padua Podcast Network. She was a daughter of a kimono maker and actually was reportedly born in a kimono shop. Not something you run across every day. Running a Fever, episode 162, living to 100, Misao Okawa. Welcome to Running a Fever. My name is Michael Davis. If you want to live a happy, healthy, and active life right up to the very end, you want to subscribe on YouTube or in your favorite podcast app because that's what we're all about here at Running a Fever, loving life and living long. It's a beautiful day, kind of hot, not perfect, not what I would call perfect. I could use it about 10 degrees cooler, but it's nice. Sunny, let's see the grass on the, or the sun on the grass, just a few clouds in the sky. Occasional breeze, occasional really big wind. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just medical report, medical department. Uh, my knee has been giving me some trouble, so it's. I know it's superficial because I don't feel it when I put weight on it or anything like that. It's just a superficial thing that I got last Friday playing racquetball. It's just really sort of a bruise or something like that. Uh, but I put a uh, put a sort of knee brace on it. Not feeling that great, right? I mean, okay, except for just I've got some uh, discomfort, pain in my lower back. Get that from time to time. It's been a while since I felt it, but it's not completely unheard of these days. On a long walk like this, on the other hand, my foot's doing better. I was, you know, these new walking shoes are pretty good, but my left foot, I had. Uh, Really kind of a blister, not a bad blister, but obviously was having trouble with the looseness of the left foot because I'm wearing a size 10 and a half and my left foot is a size 10. So it's kind of sunny out here today and I put on a little bit of sunscreen before I came out. And by the way, since it's uh, getting warmer and assuming you're listening to this during the warm weather, and even if you're not and you want to get to that warm weather and you're preparing for it you can look for a, an episode i had called beating the heat from last year it's probably a good time to drag that out and kind of listen to it look at the show notes There's some really good tips on avoiding heat exhaustion making sure you're staying well in the hotter times hydrating and uh, wearing proper clothing and that sort of thing and just being knowing how to react if someone does get in trouble and has some heat related uh, problems knowing what to do is good this is third in our series on centenarians people who live to be a hundred years old or older and this time it's on misao okawa who lived from march 5th 1898 to April Fool's Day, 2015. Misao was a woman from Japan, born in Kitaku, Osaka. Married at the age of 21. Uh, her husband died uh, only 12 years later. She had three children, and two of whom lived until she died when they were in their 90s. She also had four grandchildren and six great-grandchildren. She was the daughter of a kimono maker and actually was reportedly born in a kimono shop. Not something you run across every day. Uh, so what are we concerned about? We're concerned about her quality of life and how relevant was her life to ours. Uh, she did live in a nursing home the later years of her life. She was of course interviewed and on her last birthday she was asked, if she thought 117 was a long time to live, she said, no, it seemed rather short. So I can infer from that that she lived a, a relatively happy life and wanted it to last as long as possible. 
Her eldest son was 92 and was present at that birthday, that 117th birthday celebration. How many birthday celebrations have you been to of someone who was over 100? My guess is some of you probably have. Diet. Well, about all we know is that uh, her favorite dish was mackerel sushi. She was, of course, Japanese, and she liked sushi. Nothing wrong with that. You know, a lot of people talk about the benefits of fish, brain food, and so forth. What was the secret to her longevity? They always ask this question. At the age of 114, when she was asked, she said, watch out for health. She said it's uh, important to watch out for one's health. And it was also said that she liked to get plenty of sleep. So we know that sleep is important. We know that fish is good. It's a source of uh, omega-3 uh, fatty acids and also high in protein. So that's about all we know. In uh, Japan, uh, apparently they have a really good medical program of medical care there as well. It's one of the reasons that uh, is attributed to uh, the long life of Japanese people. I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got the fever, keep it. If you don't have it, catch it. And I will talk to you next time on Running Fever.